What is special about this year's Frontiers Forum is that we're united here in Montreux, but at the same time, we also have a large audience of editors and authors out there in the virtual space to celebrate open science together. Yours is a remarkable community that understands the need to make every resource available to help inform solutions to our greatest global challenges. The theme of this forum, a mission possible, accelerating sustainable development through open science and cooperation is very timely. This event was an extremely rare opportunity for such a global and borderless dialogue from breakfast to cocktail party, you meet people you would never meet elsewhere. It's wonderful for me to, to talk to these people that are in fields that are related to mine, but different than mine. What that gives you is a different insight into how you might be able to figure out these visions for the future. Please welcome to the stage our national champions. We launched the Frontiers Planet Prize because it's based on the nine planetary boundaries, which is just a very powerful idea. These nine planetary boundaries is, is, as far as we understand today, the nine systems that if we manage them sustainably, we can keep the planet in a good, livable state. We want to achieve a worldwide mobilization of the world of science to produce the science and the research we need to come up with solutions to stay within these planetary boundaries. If we hope to slow down climate change, we must get together, discuss how different groups can tackle different aspects, then roll up our sleeves and take action. If we manage to inspire the, the political motivation, then I think we can solve the problem. Making the science open is only the first step. Our mission is to make sure that once the science is open, it is used. It is very important to bring together all the relevant stakeholders to make climate action happen. What we're building here is, is, is more than just a sense of community. It's a sense of shared vision, of shared mission. And, and this is something that is just absolutely reinforced when we get together at the Frontiers Forum. What really came out of this forum that we are, as humanity, facing really substantial challenges, but scientists do have solutions already available. But in order for these solutions to really come out fast enough to prevent the tipping point of our climate, we do absolutely need to make our science openly accessible. It is by far the fastest, the most efficient and the most cost-effective way to accelerate solutions to humanity's most pressing challenges.